apart from other teachers. He's weird. He's weird? Yes. Uh, he knows how to make jokes. Um, the fact that he's just odd. What do you like the most about Mr. Higgins? He teaches you, and then, but like he also makes you laugh at the same time. Uh, that is really funny. And that he's just like kind of laid back and sometimes he hits us. And that's kind of funny. <laughs> if Mr. Higgins wanted to be your friend on MySpace, would you add him? Yeah, just because I can talk to him and make fun of him. Yes. No, I wouldn't. Why not? Because he's weird. <laughs> How do you feel about his pet artwork? I find it hilarious. Do, have you ever seen him? No. Do you believe he's invisible? Yes. Okay, and have you heard about his rap career as Soda Pop? Yeah. How do you feel about that? Do you think he'd make a hit record? I think he would. Okay. Maybe put some dreads on him. Yeah. Gray dreads. That'd be pretty cool. Okay. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, okay, if he had an album on iTunes, would you buy it? Yeah. Do you believe he used to be really cool with Biggie Smalls? Do you no. believe in the past life he was best friends with Biggie Smalls? <laughs> no. How do you feel about the beard? Do you think it's working for him or should he shave it? I don't know. I think I think Mr. Higgins, rock, Mr. Higgins rocks a beard. Rocks a beard. I think he does. I think it looks better than... Because when he doesn't have it, he looks like he's really young and weird. He's like a baby. That's what I think so. I think he looks like a baby. Without. What? His beard. His trademark. His... Yeah, when he doesn't have it, he looks old. Any messages, any shout outs for Mr. Higgins or anybody you want to add? Love your H-Dog. Um, don't retire. You're going to make all this really sad. I love you, Mr. Higgins. So how do you feel about your job at Center High School? Well, the beauty of it is, is I don't have a job. <laughs> I won't have a job next year. I will be gainfully unemployed, I might add. Actually, the job next year I don't have to worry about because I don't have one. <laughs> but this year, I feel great. Feels good, especially, you know, teaching at Center High is, is a blast. It's got its ups and its downs, but it's almost always up and very little down. So, it's good. I like it a lot. I enjoy seeing the kid, people every day that come in. They always get, I learn something new every day. And the sense of humor and the things that I learn from kids is pretty amazing stuff. So. Okay. Um, what made you want to become an Algebra 1 teacher? Because I was a total and absolute failure. Everything else I did in life, there was absolutely nothing left. I hit rock bottom. And after I went to the meetings, I learned that there was 10 steps, and you need 10 steps to becoming an algebra teacher. So I took them, and I was cured. Have you ever felt like you wanted to quit your job? <laughs> Have I ever felt like wanting to quit? No. No, no, no. Actually, I really haven't. There's been some times that there was a couple other things I wouldn't mind doing, you know, other than that. But no, I've never really felt like quitting, because I knew that there would be an end someday. Yeah. As a child, where did you want to be growing up? Well... See, where I come from, see, I'm not from around here. In fact, I'm really not from this planet nor this solar system. So we don't really have childhoods. We actually go the other way. We are born as complete adults, and we work our way backward. So I am in my second millennium, and soon I will be entering childhood. So I'm looking quite forward to it. My time is almost up here. I will be being recalled. My people will be returning and they will no longer have to speak Antelopian. And what influenced that choice? <laughs> well, where we come from. See, we don't actually have a choice, and that's the beauty of it. Okay. It's kind of like an arranged marriage. What do you like to do in your free time? Oh, lots of things. Basically, torture small animals. I love to hear the screaming. The fires are very nice. They go higher and higher. No, I, what do I do? I do lots of things. I do a lot of things. I really like working out. I do a lot of running. I do a lot of stuff like that. Um, just did I grow great tomatoes and herbs and things like that. And I like to cook and I really enjoy wine. And uh, I don't like to interior decorate. Let's get that straight. And, but other than that, there's just lots of manly, manly things I like to do. So I hear you to be a cross-country coach. Tell me more about that. A vicious, ugly rumor. There was two of us. There was Mr. Michael Wright, who used to have hair in those days, and myself. We, Mike and I, Mike Wright and I were... Um, Cole cross country coach. He was actually the head. And then we decided to do a Cole because I was much more talented than he was. I couldn't jump over a hurdle, but I could run further. So we, that was a lot of fun. And the guy that they have now coaching, I think is Coach Krebs, is just really fantastic. So um, we had a lot of fun doing it. We had, it was a lot, of, uh, a lot of work, but it was really great being cross country coach. And uh, like with everything, you get so that after you do it for a few years, you move on and you try some other things. So Mr. Wright and I both moved in different directions. They've been very successful since we've been gone, <laughs> I might add. <coughs> anyway.
That's great. So would you ever be willing to go against a couple of our students in a race? Let's see, a 66-year-old man against some teenagers. Ha! Bring them on! <laughs> Okay, ready, set, go! Let me just say that I am not worthy. I am not worthy. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, we did it. Our time is 2.01. 2.01. 2.01. It's that bad. Perfect. Center Cougar, Center Rack Program, Northern California. John Gallagher, probably the most successful coach in all of Northern California. He never gets any credit. Shout out to Mr. Gallagher and all his coaches, the finest track team in Northern California. Go Cougars.